I think it's time we remove those pesky stellar halos. Welcome to SETI Astro. So I think most of you know that I shoot with fairly modest equipment. Uh, I have a 120 millimeter acro that I do a lot of my imaging with. And for narrow band, it works just fine, right? Because the chromatic aberrations that happen in an acro really don't present themselves in, in line filters and narrow band filters. But where it does really present itself is when I'm shooting RGB. And even with separate R, G, and B filters on my mount, mono camera, blue around stars is just nasty. So I do try to avoid shooting RGB, but when I'm doing galaxies and, and stuff, right, you, you can't help it. So I have probably some of the worst blue halos around stars uh, that you're going to see in, in raw data. And it is... It is always a struggle to get rid of them, and that's partly the reason why I made my narrow band to RGB uh, star script. So I could take narrow band data and just throw away the RGB stars and use my narrow band stars. But let's go ahead and work on these halos, and uh, let's look at my new Halo Be Gone script. I'm thinking the, uh, the exterminator name has been so heavily used, I had to, had to think of something else. So... This this isn't Halo Exterminator, it's Halo Be Gone. Uh, what you're going to need to do is, if you do have Blur Exterminator or AstroSharp's Deconvolution tool, run that first. It uh, is always important to run that on your star-filled image anyways. And then you're going to have to extract your stars. So, so using Star Exterminator or uh, StarNet 2. So here's the script. It's a very... Very simple script. Uh, you select your image, it defaults to the active image, and it has a, a low, medium, and high setting. If you do have linear stars, you can click that. Uh, I recommend running my star stretch first, though. Uh, the results will be a lot better, and plus you're going to be removing these halos after you've stretched your stars and, and seen what you're working with anyways. Uh, all you do is click Execute. And you can see it, it masked out uh, the, the core of the stars and uh, greatly reduced the halo. So here is the before and the after. And that's that's the low setting. Low setting seems to work uh, right off the bat for, for a lot of situations. It uh, greatly reduced the, the giant blue around everything. It did leave some of the blue around the brighter ones, which... Um, you know, it's always good for star color and stuff. You don't want to completely squash your your halos. Otherwise, you won't have any stellar color. Uh, but, you know, depending on your preference, that's why I have a, a medium and high setting too. And, you know, just to show it, we, we could turn it on the high and, and let it run. And it just takes a, a second. And now, there. Now almost all the halos are completely gone, including the the blue around the, the very bright ones, and you're left just with almost just with white white stars. There's just not a whole lot left to it. I got a couple more examples here. Here's another one. This was the stars actually from that triangulum image from earlier. Uh, again, there's just a, a variety of, of wonky wonky halos, right? And I'll just click execute and you know it, it, it greatly reduced them and the vast majority of them don't have any remnants left even on even on the low setting right and I think for me the low setting works for my images uh, just so I could have a little star color left but depending on you know how much you want to crush those halos out of existence um, g give it a go we'll We'll just undo that and, and run it on the high setting right now. And Halo's be gone. There. There's, uh... There's nothing left. There's just white stars. Um, okay, so th these were two RGB images I had. I have uh, another stars-only image from... 
a channel member that we'll demonstrate on next. In their particular setup, they have red halos, which is completely different than mine. So we'll just uh, we'll just give it a go uh, and say halos be gone. And you can see it 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 took out all those red rings around around the star. So here's the before and after. And again, that's that's the low setting, depending on your personal taste. You may run it want to run it at medium or high and let it do its thing. And here was here was the high setting. There's almost nothing left of halos around any of them, and uh, you're just left with with your white stars. Then at, at that point, the script also works equally well on mono images. If you do want to uh, reduce the the halos around stars in, in mono images, I have a, an example here that the halos are pretty okay around most of the stars, uh, but this very bright one does have some issues with it. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go and, and see how it goes. There, here's the after and before, after and before, and and you can see it just really crushed even on this bright one. Some of those uh, streaks and and the halo around it. Now I do want to temper your expectations a little bit. If you have something ridiculous like this internal reflection, my script will not be removing that internal reflection, right? This is this is uh, beyond beyond the scope of a simple halo reduction. So massive internal reflections, um, items like this reflection or flare from this bright star here from the optical imaging train these will not be getting you know reduced by the script the script needs a, a stars only image and when you remove the stars from something like this this flare from the optical train is staying behind in the star list image and the halo be gone script is working on the stars only image i also want to say that you can drag the new instance off you can create uh, a shortcut on your desktop here for Halo Be Gone. And you can just drag and drop onto your image and it's going to go ahead and pop the script up for you really quick. So you can execute it on uh, low, medium, or high settings and, and it'll just be there for you. If you do double click it, you can just, again, just hit the square or drag the little triangle or the circle and it's going to pop the script up for you too. But the by far the fastest way is just drag and drop that onto the image and it'll pop up the little script for you to, to run. It's a very fast script. As always, you can get my scripts on my website, studyastro.com, under Pix Insight Scripts. I have the repository for Pix Insight. If you're using the repository, the link's there. You need build 1605 or higher for using that. Or if you just want to get uh, the standalone version, scroll all the way to the bottom and just click the picture or the click image, the download here button, and you'll download a zip that you could add it as a feature script. Uh, I hope this helps uh, some people out there reducing their, their unwanted halos around stars. Again, if you want to become a channel member and help uh, develop these scripts and, and play with the beta versions, we're definitely going to welcome you. Please comment, like, and subscribe.